<laughs> Briefly, once, of course, I uh, used to write press releases on things and sent them out to people to not get printed. Um, which leads me to why did the Bradford Bulls release that statement oh. to the fans? Because I always think these things, A, it looked terrible, but B, it's just pandering to a set of fans who are never going to be happy anyway. And everyone else is just pointing and laughing because it's hilarious. The best, the best, the best, the the best, the best part of it is the replies to the <laughs> to the tweet. Featherstone Rovers, Super Fev, have gone two foot two feet in. Trolled them. They've gone Luke Gale style in on them. Bradford Bulls are Johnny Lomax, Featherstone Rovers are Luke Gale, and they'll probably win them on the anyway. So it doesn't matter. But statements like that, I, I just don't. I don't. It's like when uh, people say, "Oh, they should give the fans their money back for going," and we lost hundred nil. Well, tough. That's sport. It happens. It's um, it's it's like the dreaded vote of confidence. Let me look at the league. Everything's team. fine. Honestly, it's fine. By the way, you've been sacked tomorrow. I don't know anything like, about. Don't rugby. say anything. But that that statement. I mean, to not attribute a name to it. I mean, I do feel somewhat for the Bradford Bulls fans because, in terms of rugby league, no one's had it worse. Absolutely. In the last ten, what twelve years, um, particularly for those who put a lot of money and essentially got pissed up on the wall uh, <laughs> or against the wall, however you like to put it. Um, but yeah, it just it just seems to be the same old story, there, doesn't it? I mean, Jimmy yeah. Peacock may as well have sold, uh, but he burnt his shirts or something wrong because it did melted his medals down. Um, if you look at the championship table. The top two teams in the championship now, I could have told you were going to be the top two teams in the championship, and I don't know anything. So why Bradford decided to <laughs> claim they were going to be in a promotion push this year, when in, in reality, is anyone going to challenge for the Snow Lee? And the answer, I, th- I think it's 49% because... yes for fair, 49% Lee, 2% just in case Leicester City turn up. I think but otherwise... yeah, it's because Bradford are outside the playoff spots. But again... Only on points. <laughs> but look, the look the points points not win. they spend more than Barrow, they spend more than <laughs> yeah. Batley, they spend more than Sheffield, they probably spend more than Witness, yeah. they may spend more than Halifax. So No, no, they're underperforming. Yeah, clearly. yeah. but they, they, haven't, they haven't progressed in the last three years. I think, is it fifth, sixth and fifth? or? I think the, yeah. the bigger concern is that um, you know, less people are going to watch them on a regular basis. So there might, you know, there might be a one-off crowd of... Mm. 5,800 against Halifax on Easter Monday. It's a local derby. That's going to be one of your big sellers of the season. The worry for Bradford would be you get three quarters of the way through the season, you're at home to Newcastle and there's only 1,100 people there. Then all of the sums that you've done throughout the year to be commercially viable are not added up. It's not surprising that people aren't turning up when they've been lied to what they've been through. (laughs) False promises, and, false dawns. And whether they, um, you know, yeah. again, you've got to manage. I can't, I can't fault them. Got to manage the club prudently. But when they see divisional rivals signing players, they deem to be higher profile than the ones that their club is signing. And the, the the answer for them seems to be just setting up another friend of the balls squad builder, essentially to try and squeeze, leech, what, yeah, squeeze, squeeze so yeah, much money yeah, exactly, out of the or, or yeah, another I mean, dual registration agreement in the hope that the Super League clubs they've registered with haven't got too many injured players and can loan them some because yeah. they're not going to be getting any from Leeds I think, I think the fans want some honesty some some realism you know um, but also yeah. the, the cost has to match the reality And well that's yeah, that's it they are a championship club and they have been for how many years now and um, I think again too much focus is on if they get back to the Super League, they'll have at least 10,000 fans. Like, That's not even Don't given anymore. Yeah, anymore. No, no. It's looking at Bradford through the prism of 10 good years or whatever mm-hmm. and ignoring the rest of the history of rugby league in Bradford over 150 well, years. Old. Which is, this is the third incarnation of a team called Bradford. And it's not my anti-Bradford nature, it's just Fourth. actual reality. But it yeah. does go to the proof that all those people who wrote those Bradford the Back articles after they beat Leeds in the Cup were writing utter nonsense. Because they were, because you can't re- take one result. And they lost to Halifax the week after. Fair play to Halifax, by the way, playing pretty much the whole game with 12 men and one. So, well done, Halifax. Um, but I, d- I don't know what Bradford can do to change anything, because they're like, odd to lose as it is, that's not going to change. They're not going to change that into some super stadium. That ship has been and sailed long ago. 
I think so the, the shame, hamstrung by that. Part of the shame is that you're looking at what Hulk KR are doing now mm. and, and, and lauding it. Some of that is on the back of taking a core of some very good Bradford youngsters. It is, yeah. At the definitely. time. Yeah. Um, you know, the Matty Stortons and Ellen Rowan Minchellas, Mills. Rowan Mills, Ethan Ryan. You know, if they were still at Bradford or Bradford were building a team around those those sort of players, they'd, they'd be higher up the championship table. So I think there isn't really a junior coming through at the moment who's been coveted by other clubs. That's that's part of the issue. But obviously they've got injuries, but every team's got injuries. So it's, it's not... The issues with Bradford aren't... Just based on what's I think, on the field. I think they haven't been for a long their, time. Their right? half back pairing of Deck Patton and Jordan Lilly should be as virtually as good as anything in should that be. division. Yeah. I think the change would be whether whether the head coach goes or is relieved of his two years. But again, end. who do you get? Because we're every, our conversation Ron's been tonight <laughs> has been Keegan. circulatory. That what hole do you fish in for coaches at the moment? The easiest thing to say, I'll get rid of the coach. No, I mean, who are you going to replace? He has, him? and you know, obviously John Key has got a, a fantastic CV and, mm-hmm. and won a lot, but he has been there, I think, three years or maybe longer. They haven't really progressed past the point. But again, so you you do have to judge him on his performances. But it's a financial thing as well, because of course it is, you yeah. can't just um, terminate contracts these days. It's not quite that easy. But who would they get so far? Yeah, it's going to get. Who would they get? There's coaches out there, Phil. I'm sure there's lots who would. Would put their hand up. I'm sh- yeah, but you've got to get somebody who. <laughs> Jeff Toomey is uh, unemployed. <laughs> stood on the. Uh, Bring back Toomey. He's, he's gone to the National Media Museum. Stood on the grassy knoll with his binoculars. <laughs> I'm not the coach. <laughs> on holiday. Leave him alone. Oh dear. Don't, don't send out statements like that. Just no, don't, just it, don't. I don't it's, think that it's helps. so counterproductive. It doesn't I help. Just, you know. In fact, it ratchets up the pressure. And they've got. Featherston this week yeah, when, well, on fair. television, yeah. which is, you know. Fev who've got dip. more players than they know what to do. They could set up a, a feeder team, could Fev. Leeds. Well, they are going to them, send them to Leeds. <laughs> the, um, but the thing about that is they could be embarrassed on Premier. They, yeah. they may well win, yeah. but they but it could not. show the gulf between where Bradford actually are and where they th- hope they might have been. And when you put out a statement like that, it almost paints you into a cul-de-sac. <laughs>